Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time visiting, thank you so much for joining. It's Leonice here. And today, it's gonna be one of the very first videos I've ever done like this. It is a full face using only e.l.f. products. And this is a first impression video too because all the products that I'm using, it is my first time using all of them except for one, no. Except for one product, I've never used it before. And two of the, two products out of all of these are not e.l.f. products. And one of those products are these lashes that I have on here. And let's just get into these lashes, y'all. Let's just get into them. Y'all see these lashes? So these are my friend, my friend Deatra. I've known her since like middle school. She started a lash company and it's called iAccents by Deatra. I will have her Instagram page linked down below because she does not have a website yet. However, you can purchase through her Instagram page. And they are these lashes are only $10 and they are 100% mink and reusable up to 30 times. So, I mean, y'all gotta support my friend. Like, support her. Because these lashes here are bomb AF, okay? But I'm not gonna make this intro any longer than it needs to be because this video is gonna be long because like I said, it's a full face first impression video. So I'm not gonna waste any more of y'all's time. If y'all wanna see how I created this look using all e.l.f. products, make sure you stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and jump right in. I'm gonna be priming my face using the Mineral Infused Face Primer. Um, this is just a sample that came with my uh, with my order. Here's what the product looks like. It's just a clear, uh, jelly-looking formula, but it's actually kind of silicone-y. So I'm just gonna apply that all over my face. And I'm gonna apply this first so I can so I can give my makeup time, or my setting, my primer, I'm sorry, you guys, my primer time to settle into my skin before applying my foundation. So while that is settling into my skin, I'm going to go in and do my brows. And like I said, this is a full e.l.f. tutorial, full face using e.l.f. tutorial and all first impressions. I've never tried any of these products. So I'm gonna go in with this, with this e.l.f. brow pomade in the shade medium brown, y'all, I don't know. Sorry y'all, let's focus here. I don't know if this shade is going to be a match because it's like this cool tone brown, but we are gonna see and if it doesn't work y'all, it's just a tutorial. All right, so I'm gonna go on in. Ooh, went in a little heavy there, it was super pigmented. I'm gonna go in, okay, so this is not my shade, but I will say that this pomade is very, very pigmented. All right, so I finished my brows. They don't look too bad, y'all. I can work with these. I always, like, my left brow always comes out better than my right brow, which is the oddest thing, but that's how it works. Uh, I'm more of a pencil kind of girl anyway, so I'm not surprised that I'm not really feeling this product. And it's, a, like I said, a cooler tone brown than I'm used to, but it, it's, it's okay for something different. I, I might use this again in the future, who knows, who knows. All right, so the next product that I'm going to go in with is the e.l.f. Oil-Free SPF 15 Sunscreen Foundation. And the shade name is Coco. And I am actually going to use an e.l.f. Beauty Sponge. I like the way the sponge feels. It's not quite as airy as the Beauty Blender, but it does feel pretty good and it is soaking up this product though quite a bit oops got it all in my brow all right but let's see how it blends out okay so it blends out pretty nicely um the shade is kind of the shade is a match which i bought like several of these and this one was the closest that I could get to my skin tone. So, the sponge blends out decent. I have used better sponges, like the Beauty Blender, but, I mean, for $6, it's definitely getting the job done. It's a buildable foundation, so I'm, I did not use that much in my hairline. And you can see the coverage is nice. It has a nice matte finish, 
but it's not drying, at least not right now. It's not drying, but you can see that the coverage is very, very pretty, and it does have, like I said, a very flawless and seamless finish to it. And it looks really, really good on. I like this. And that's six dollars. We gotta see how this wears though. This might have to turn into a wear test video too because, uh, huh. All right, so the next product I'm gonna use, it is not, I do not have an e.l.f. concealer because they only had like three shades and they were like light, medium, and dark maybe, but dark was like, dark for a tan, fair skin person. So I did not buy that, I already knew it was gonna be too light. But I am gonna use a product that I have not quite, I have not used on my channel, but I have been using it quite a bit lately, and it is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, y'all, in the shade Deep. And I love this concealer. So we're gonna go ahead and go in with her. So I love this applicator is super thick and it's a really big wand here. And we're just gonna go in, we're gonna apply some here. All right, so good to go there. Now I am going to I'm gonna go on with my eyes now. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. eyelid primer now to prime my eyes. I've actually used this on my channel before, and I think the time that I used it on my channel was the first time I'd ever used this. Just gonna dot some on, and then I'm going to take my beauty blender. Now, I am going to go in with the e.l.f. Nude Rose Gold Eyeshadow Palette, and we are going to create a cute little look here. Here are the shades, y'all. These shades are so pretty. I actually bought the Wet n Wild uh, All Natural Palette, and I was not quite a fan of it. I didn't feel like the shades were as pigmented as I would have liked for them to be, but we're gonna see how this one works out. Here are some swatches. Here are some swatches. Pretty colors. These also are not as pigmented as I'm going for, but we're just gonna see what happens. All right, so let's get a brush so I can apply all over my lid. I'm gonna go in with this shade right here as an all over lid color. It's kind of like a, just a light tan. I'm gonna give this a nice little base for my shadow because I found that even on top of primer is good to apply a shadow base. Anytime I do this, I always like for it to be a skin tone shade. Next, I'm gonna go in with a blending brush and I'm going to take no, this shade here, which is a darker brown, but it's still not, it's not really dark. And I'm going to use that as my transition shade. Okay, so it's kind of a taupey brown. So blend this back and forth. All right, so these colors also are not as pigmented, but they're buildable. So you see we're getting some pigment as I'm building this color up. All right, so this, there's only, three matte shades in this palette and a satin and then the rest are shimmers. So I don't really like doing shimmers on my outer corner, but it doesn't look like I have much of an option here. So I'm gonna use, well, I don't know what color I wanna use for my outer corner. I'm, I'm gonna use this one down here on the end. It's kind of a, a brownish burgundy shimmer. We're just gonna see. I'm gonna lightly tap that here. So I wish this had a deeper, this palette had a deeper matte shade, but you know, for a fair, fair tone person, this palette would probably be good because okay, so there's a little bit of fallout from this shade, but it's not, it's not too bad. And uh, I'm gonna take this shade here as my lid color. It's kind of the, um, a pinkier rose gold. I'm gonna pat that on my lid. 
Now I'm gonna take the other side of that same brush I just used and I'm going to apply this rose gold shade on top of that color. Let's see if I can get a little bit more pigment with it. I'm gonna take a clean blending brush and I'm going to go in and make sure all of my edges are soft. Okay, <clears throat> now that I've done that, I'm gonna go in on my bottom lash line and I'm going to take that darker brown that I used and apply that. And then I'm gonna go on with that burgundy shift shimmer. I'm gonna clean this brush off again. Now this little Ulta uh, switching, shadow switching palette is amazing. I talked about it in another video. This right here is very, very convenient. And then I'm gonna take that pinky rose gold and I'm just going to put that here on the inner. Okay, so this is a pretty simple look. I look, but I like it. We're done with that palette. Next, I'm going to use this, just a regular eye, eyeliner pencil with a self, or not self sharpening, but a sharpening top. And this pencil is super duper sharp, y'all. All right, so I'm gonna use this to line my eyes. This pencil is only like a dollar, so we're gonna see what happens. Zoom in for y'all. So this is definitely more pigmented than I thought. I normally do not use regular eyeliner pencils. I use like gel based pencils. All right, so this pencil for a dollar is not bad, y'all. Not bad at all. Hmm, I kinda like this. So I don't know if this is a waterloo, waterloo, a waterproof eyeliner, so I'm not going to tight line with it but we're gonna move on. Okay, so I have two mascaras here. One is a lengthening and volumizing, and the other is a lengthening and defining mascara. Um, let's do lengthening and defining. Okay, so here's the, let me show y'all the wand. It's just a regular looking wand. The bristles are kind of far apart, and we're gonna see if this really works. Okay, lashes. I see some length. I see some definition. Oh. Well, I am a little shocked about this. This was the one product that I was expecting to be a disappointment, and it's not. Look at that. Y'all see those lashes? Look at that. All right. Huh. I am. A little work rest. Okay, the next product I'm gonna go in with, <laughs> I'm so excited about trying these. Again, these are not an L product, but I have to use them for this video. My friend just started a lash company, y'all, and it is called Eye Accents by Diatra, and the lashes are 100% mink, and they can be reused up to 30 times. This one, as you can see, is 3D66. Look at these gorgeous lashes, y'all. Just look at them. They are only $10, and I will have um, the link to her Instagram page in the drop down below so you can contact her about purchasing them because she does not have a website right now. Um, so I'm gonna apply this off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've applied the lashes now. These lashes, y'all, look at these. I mean, it's like I'm touching the heavens here when I just look up. I just, I mean, my God, they are so long and just soft. These are absolutely amazing, y'all. I am giving y'all all sorts of drama here. Y'all, find the, go to her Instagram page down down below. It's Deatra Lash and Brow. Y'all see it down below. Make sure you stop by because these lashes here are bomb. And I bought, I think she has like five, five different styles. These here. These are my favorites. Cause I bought three of them. I'm about to get the other two, I know it. All right. I'm gonna finish my face now. I am going to go in with this uh, blush here. It is, I'm having a little difficulty here opening. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so this little brush here just fell out 
of this blush, y'all. Now, what kind of blush brush could this be? Who would use this for blush? I mean, just, just a little, I don't know about that. But it's just this little pink shade here that I'm going to be using. The shade name is Blushing. We're gonna see how this looks. I'm just gonna go in with a light hand and, okay, so it looks like nothing on me. Oh, go back in with a little bit more, a heavier hand and this is very, very powdery, y'all. And it's almost like a sheer highlighter on me. Let's see. Y'all, this is so powdery, like, Jesus Christ. It's powder everywhere. Okay, so I'm not a fan of this. Just makes my cheeks look a little ashy. I'm going to have to follow up with this other blush that I have. Which is still not gonna do anything because I just want some color to my cheeks. Like I'm gonna have to get another blush that's not even a elf one and see what happens with it because this is trash. It bought no color to my cheeks. Clearly for fair complexions, not these deeper melanin infused complexions, y'all. Look at this. We're not gonna talk about it. We're not. We're not gonna talk about this. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Illuminating pal Palette. Um, I'm gonna open this. It's gonna be a mess because this one broke in transit, but I'm gonna use one of these shades here. And I think I'm just gonna use this uh, gold shade down here as my highlight. Tap. The shade in the top left was like a yellow highlighter. Okay, we got a little something going here. A little something, not much. Yeah, not much. All right, so this is not a hit for me at all. Put some down the bridge of my nose. A little bit. Of, these are not very pigmented at all. Um, definitely prefer the uh, Wet n Wild Mega Glow highlighters over this. I mean, the blush had more of a glow to it than this. Okay, y'all. So. I'm going to use one of the Shimmering Face Whips. They're liquid. This is the shade Golden Peach. Now, I know I'm applying this on top of a powder, so hopefully, you know, nothing crazy happens, but we're just gonna apply just a tiny bit. Start with just that little dot there. We're gonna just dip, 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 dip that on. And we're gonna blend it out. Okay, now this right here is a highlighter. Yes. All right, now see I can, now y'all saw how small that dot was, and y'all see that right there. That is what you call a highlighter. And this little thing right here is only a dollar. All right, so now, okay, all right, I'm feeling this. Voila, we have a highlight going now. Okay, last thing to wrap this video up, I'm going to go in with the Runway Ready Lip Palette, and I'm gonna use, and let me use this purple shade. I don't know why, I just feel like using it. Okay, so these colors, it's kind of like a glossier lip. It's sheer, it's like a sheer glossy pigment. Y'all don't prefer more pigmented lip colors. And I am just using the brush that came in this. The lip defining brush. I will say that this is at least buildable. Well, 
Last but not least, I'm going to spray the makeup mist and set to set this here makeup look. Let's see how this sprays. Okay, so y'all see it's a kind of a fine, fine. It's not quite, it's not a fine mist like the Urban Decay setting sprays, but it's all right. All right, makeup set. Now, let's close this video on out. All right, so that is it for this here makeup look. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let's talk about my, the hits and misses of this video. I'm gonna go ahead and say that these blushes were a, com a complete miss for me. Did not like them at all. They were more like a highlighter for me. Um, I will say that the shimmering facial whip was definitely a hit because it gave a nice little glow here. Um, the foundation, y'all, look at this fall flawless finish here. Like, it hasn't really creased here in my smile lines. I am a fan of this foundation and it feels very, very lightweight. Like, it'll be good for the summertime. The rose gold palette, I liked it. The colors were pretty. Um, and I will say that I wish that this palette did have more matte shades. And I will also say that I wish that some of the matte shades were actually a little bit darker to for the brown girls, okay? A little bit more brown girl friendly. And the last thing, the setting spray, I liked it. I like all of their setting sprays really. So if you want a cheaper setting spray, because I think those are only like $3 and they have that one. Um, they have a matte misting spray and an illuminating one. And I, I mean, they work just fine to set your makeup. I mean, they work just as good as high-end brands. And if you don't wanna spend the money on the high-end brands, you might as well just spend your $3 and get you a regular um, setting spray from e.l.f. But overall, like I can say that I can work with most of these products and I will be using these products in the future. Oh, last thing, the, ble the blender sponge. Um, you can look at this blender and see how much of my makeup is soaked up, but it's very, it does, it does increase like double the size once you wet it. And I mean, for, if you don't mind losing some of your product, this sponge works just fine. But if you do mind losing some of your product, um, I would say spend a little bit more, a little bit more money and get the beauty blender. But I mean, that sponge is $6 and it's softer than a lot of $6 sponges that I've used and area like the beauty blender so I mean it's it's fine y'all like it's not it's not a big deal but that is all for this video I know this video is super duper long so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this on up if you didn't subscribe in the beginning make sure you subscribe now also if you like these full face tutorials give me a thumbs up because I really like this is my first time doing this and I really enjoy this video so yeah if you would like to see me do a full face tutorial for another product let me know leave in the comments and that is it y'all I will see y'all next time see you later